Hello and thank you for joining me today. You don't know how much I appreciate having you here on my channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how I start seeds uh, for my homestead. Uh, a lot of people does it different, but I'm just going to show you how you can go to Walmart, get a simple setup, and grow it. In a later video, I'm even going to show you how to do a real inexpensive grow light system like I use, and I have a pretty high success rate. Uh, let me show you what we're going to what we're going to use. So I like to just use this Jiffy seed starting greenhouse kit. And now normally I buy the one that has the 72 pellets and you can see uh, what I usually have go on right here. But uh, I've got about all the plants that I need. I just got a few other things I want to plant. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna turn these seeds into plants that look like that to where we can get them in the get them in my greenhouse and start growing them well not only do i use the greenhouse i also have a hay bale system and uh garden beds so let's get started all right let's get going with our our little greenhouse seed starter kit we'll just take the packaging off uh this stuff right here you can just take this right here and just throw it out of the way. Uh, it comes with some little labels that you can label your plants with. Uh, but the these little peat moss pellets, they're, they seem to do real well for me as far as starting um, my seeds out. So what you do is you just buy this kit and we're just going to get us some water. This water right here is, it's not purified water, but it doesn't have any chlorine in it. If you let your water set for uh, two or three days, the chlorine will, will just, I won't say it evaporates, but it just gets where it doesn't work anymore. Um, so I'm just gonna take this water and I'm just gonna coat it real, real deep with water. Not real deep, but enough that it, They'll start floating. It's all right though. We'll get it. We'll get them in position. You'll notice as time goes by, the the white coating on these will start getting darker and darker and darker. And as it starts doing that, we'll we'll know they're starting to absorb the water. But you can't just put all your water in there at once. You just want to add a little bit and let them start swelling up. And then we'll be able to look at it in a minute. We'll be able to tell when it's ready to start planting. See right here how they're starting to puff up? That's what we're looking for. So they'll start bubbling and start absorbing the water. So they're doing what they're supposed to be doing right now. We'll Let's let them keep running for a minute. See here how the the white is starting to disappear on them? That that's what we're looking for. We want it to become totally brown. If you see right here, the water's already getting sucked up and absorbed. So here in a minute, we'll be having to add more water. Well, it looks like we've just about used up all of our water. So I'm just gonna take and just add some more. Try not to do like I did and just run it over there because it washes your dirt out. We'll try to keep it between the, the pellets. And if you do pour too much water, that's okay. We'll just pour out what we don't use. Well, we already have to add more water again. It's 
time to add even more water. This time I'm going to kind of start trickling over the top of them where we can start getting it wet from the top and letting it don't want to pour it real hard though we just want to get enough that the top of it can get wet Let's go ahead and look at at one of these pods. Uh, it's still it's still just a little hard in the middle, so we're gonna give it just a little bit more time. But you can kind of see what they're starting to look like. And this right here is just a little bit over four cups of water. So we're gonna give it a little bit longer and let it soak up just a little bit more. Let's check out another one that's that's good and moist and uh, and it's okay to have a little water if you're gonna it's gonna be getting warm so it's okay to have a little bit too much water but this has a uh, this has I think this will actually be okay uh, the water is gonna evaporate and uh, get started out we want our ground kind of moist but we don't want it to to rot so we won't keep an eye on I, I sure do love me some strawberries so I'm gonna start out by just showing you how I plant these we just just kind of water out each one of the holes and then what I like to do is I like to put about three seeds in each each pod that gives me a pretty good chance of having these seeds to come up. So one, two, three. 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 All right, then what I'll do is I'll just take me a toothpick and kind of make sure they're down in the hole. And even though that, that we could have three sprout up, uh, we're not going to keep all three of them. We're going to let them come up and then the strongest survive. So we'll just, uh, we'll clip out the other ones after they come up a little bit. But if we got three in there, there's just a better chance that the, strawberry has a chance to make it or whatever it is that you're planting so i'm just going to kind of scratch some dirt over the top of the hole like so just to make sure it's got some good coverage our seeds got to be fully covered and then i'm just going to take my finger and i'm just going to kind of just bounce on it just a little bit just to get it good and Packed in there. I'm not shoving it down there and getting it real hard, but just kind of just enough just to pack it around the seed just a little bit. And that's it. Now I'll go ahead and I'll finish uh, planting these other ones the same way. I'm going to do some strawberries and some Brussels sprouts and some zucchini and squash and some watermelon and some cantaloupe. So let me go ahead and get them uh, planted, then we'll move on from there and I'll show you what to do next. Planted, I'm just going to take the cover. And I'm just going to cover it up like so. Um, and I'm only going to leave it like this for a couple days. Just let everything warm up and get started. And after a couple days, I'm going to kind of back the tray off just a little bit like, like that. That way air can move in and out until I start seeing everything start to sprout. And then once that does, I'm just going to take it off. Uh, now with mine, I don't just leave it outside. I, I'm telling you how to do it the way that I do it and I do it under grow lights. But I have a very cheap grow light system that's very efficient and works great. If you'll watch my next video, I'm gonna show you how I do my grow lights. And like I said, I have very good success rate with it like this and it's very inexpensive. 
So join me then. Thank you and have a great day.